By early 1964, NASA's Gemini program mission schedule was set and it was tight, with every mission demonstrating some new technological advance that NASA needed to perfect on its way to the moon. But America was still behind in the space race at this point, and to recover ground lost to the Soviet Union, NASA pressed ahead and developed a mission that would see a spacewalk or extravehicular activity far earlier than initially planned, as the main mission event on Gemini 4. Gemini 4 was originally scheduled as a duration mission, a seven-day Earth orbital flight to prove that the spacecraft and the astronauts were up to a longer flight. But for a longer flight, NASA needed fuel cells, not batteries like the ones that had powered the Mercury spacecraft, and the fuel cell development was falling badly behind. Gemini 4 couldn't be a long-duration mission. NASA needed another objective for this flight. And so mission planners looked to spacewalks or extravehicular activities, having an astronaut leave the safety of a spacecraft while orbiting the Earth. The spacewalk wasn't announced as a certain mission event when Jim McDivitt and Ed White were introduced as the crew of Gemini 4 during a pre-launch press conference. There was only a brief mention that one of the men might stick his head outside of the open hatch. The secrecy was due to the number of unknowns involved in a spacewalk. Whether or not the hatch could open and close safely in a vacuum, whether the spacesuits could be readied in time, and whether NASA could develop some handheld maneuvering device for the astronaut who would be leaving the spacecraft. But none of these ifs were deal breakers, and so the agency set about solving all of these problems immediately. The spacecraft hatches were put through rigorous tests, the suits were tested and signed off on, and a pressurized air gun was developed to help White, the mission's pilot, maneuver in the vacuum, as he would be the one stepping outside. With the EVA still under wraps, the crew and a handful of engineers trained and developed mission procedures in secret, particularly lead flight director Gene Kranz, who worked on the primary four-day duration mission planning by day and developed the EVA mission profile with a small task force by night. The EVA was finally formally announced as part of the Gemini 4 mission when the press kit was released in early May. By the end of the month, NASA Administrator James Webb had signed off on the mission. Gemini 4 launched into orbit on June 3, 1965 at around 10.16 in the morning Eastern Time. Once in orbit, White donned his special EVA gear, pressurized his suit to 3.7 pounds per square inch, and opened the spacecraft hatch a little after 2.30 in the afternoon. He stood up on his seat before pushing himself out into the void, becoming the first American to leave the safety of his spacecraft in orbit. He spent 23 minutes floating freely before maneuvering his way back into the cabin. And he did, as he ready to get back inside, say, this is the saddest moment of my life. The hatch was closed at 3.10 in the afternoon Eastern Time, and the mission splashed down on June 7th. Planning for the EVA may have happened on Earth, but NASA's first spacewalk happened in space. Leave any questions or comments below and don't forget to subscribe.